We had some technical difficulties, so sorry it was a bit delayed. Um, I was making a really uh, delicious snack for all of us in the office, and I thought I'd share it. Let's just give me a second. We did have some technical difficulties, so I'm going to check if my colleague can see me on the Facebook page. No? Anastasia? She's just going to check on the phone. But while you're there, what we're going to do is we're going to make some um, almond butter. It'll take us one minute. These are the roasted nuts that I've got. Yeah. Kimmy, can you see this? Okay, good. She's a bit camera shy, but it's fine. You can talk. So we've got our um, Optimum G 2.1. It's our newest machine. I mean, it's uh, Fridays are great. It's Active Wear Friday. I get to test the machines and make snacks. Cool. We're on live. It's working. Fantastic. So this machine is super powerful. I personally have the Optimum 9400 Vortex Blender and that one is amazing um, and you have to put it on high to make nut butter and this one is even more powerful. So that one is the 9400 is about uh, 3 horsepower, this one's about 3.8 horsepower so super powerful. Um, usually I say put it on the higher setting but with this one I'd probably go with 6 rather than 8, 8 is the maximum. Um, cool, so really exciting. Oh. This is what we're making. So that was from the first take. We're making um, delicious apple sandwiches with nut butter and some, you know, dried fruit and seeds. So that's really good even for, um, you know, uh, before a workout, you know, or for kids after school snacks. Cool. So let's get into it. Oh, I'll get Kimmy come closer. I'll show you the G two point one. So. This is really cool because it's got um, preset functions. So you've got fruit, you've got um, nut milk, sorbet, soup, grind, and sauces. But for the purpose of the, um, this video, we're going to use the manual setting. The reason we're using that is so that we can put it on whatever um, speed we want, which I said sits for the G2.1, and for the time, which it should only take one minute to do it. Oh, before I do it, if you are using natural nuts um, that are not roasted already, it will take a bit longer, um, probably about two to three minutes, and you will need some oil, you need to add some oil to lubricate it. Probably about uh, three teaspoons, but yeah, it will depend on how many nuts you have, how, you know, how much nuts you've got. But today we're just going to use roasted nuts. This is about two and a half cups. You probably don't want to have any more than two and a half cups. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to spice it up, you can add a bit, uh, you know, a couple of dates in there and a bit of cinnamon just to make it tasty. But let's go. Oh, it's going to be really loud. Um, the reason is these are super powerful machines. They're, they're, yeah, they're commercial grade, so definitely um, not quiet. Pop the nuts in there, don't need anything else, no oil or anything. Put the lid on, and I'm going to set it to manual time of 60 seconds, and speed 6. So. the power of this machine so I would probably so the six was a bit strong so it's pushing the ingredients out to the side um, what I'll do in that case is give it a quick stir uh, as you can see you can already see that the the, nat, the oils from the nuts are getting released so give it probably another 30 seconds because we've had it on for 30 seconds 
and it will turn into beautiful nut butter. You can see that it's already doing that. I'm actually going to leave it on the sticks and see how it goes. 30 seconds. Not yet. Cool. If you have any questions and you're watching this video a bit later, just post it in the comment section and we'll get to it. Yum, this is going to be exciting. Oh, I broke this one. Alright, that's no good. Let's cut another one. Obviously, tell that I'm no good with a knife. <laughs> Alright, you just want to basically cut out the core. And here's another one. It's almost done already. Push that through. Then get a bit of nut butter. And if you really want to get adventurous, you can add some cacao in there, some vanilla. There we go. And then, where is my. No, oh, here it is. A sprinkling of dried fruit and nuts. delicious snacks. I'm gonna go hand out some of these and make some more and hand it out around the office but hopefully you enjoyed that. I hope we'll um, maybe do another one next week, uh, another live stream. If you enjoy um, watching these live demonstrations we do have one coming up for the Optimum Thermo Cook. It's uh, one with Jackie M who is a chef and she is amazing with Malaysian cuisine. That will be uh, on at 7 o'clock on Friday in the evening, Sydney time. Um, so if you want to join up and sign up for that, there is a link on the Facebook page. Just go in there and it's completely free and she'll show you some delicious cuisines. We're doing it every Friday for four weeks. So join us then. Thanks so much and have a lovely and safe weekend. Bye! Mwah. See ya!